So I've just started using this awesome free upscale tool that has so many features and benefits to it. I'll walk you through a tutorial in this video, so make sure you check it out. I wanted to make this video in light of the previous video I made about Trace Journey. So you do get 10 images to upscale for free. Then after that, it is a paid tool. So if you are still interested in using that, I have updated the Discord link. However, in the comment section, of that video. I have to thank Alex for putting me onto this new tool that I've been using called Upscale. And to access the tool, all you need to do is go over to upscale.org. I'll link it in the description. Now this upscaler is absolutely amazing. It's hundred percent free to use. It's also open source, which allows more flexibility with the software and everything is done locally on your computer. So there's no need to rely on and wait on a server. And then you can even batch upload as well and upscale your image up to 16 times. So depending on what system you have, you can just come to the bottom and select the option in order to download upscale. So I have a MacBook, so I went with the Mac OS. If you have a MacBook, one of the issues you may have once you've downloaded the file and you're trying to load it is that it might say it cannot open because the developer cannot be verified. In that case, just come to this website that I'll leave in the description and it will explain all the steps you need to follow in order to override that message. So once you've loaded Upscale, this is how it's going to look on your laptop. So we can take a look at the settings and you can read through the guide on the website. Then you also have different themes you can use to make your experience more interesting. So this is how Emerald looks and this is how Valentine looks. So there are definitely some nice themes there, but I usually leave it on light. Next, you have the option to save to an output folder permanently. After, you can put in your GPU ID. Then after this, you can use custom models to upscales, but the models they have are more than good enough. Then you have the option to choose what you want to save your image as. However, if you've got the batch upload, then it's only PNG. You can also set the image scale you want, but I usually leave it on 4X. After this, you can see your logs and then you've got an option to donate as well. So when you want to upscale your image, just make sure you select upscale at the top. And then you have the option to batch upscale or just upscale a single image. So you can turn that on or off. So I've just turned it off for now, but it's simple to use in four easy steps. And step one, all you have to do is just upload your image. And I've uploaded one of my mid journey coloring pages. And then step two, you can choose an upscaling type. And specifically for coloring pages, you're not going to see a massive difference between each type. Ideally, the digital art is best for AI generated images. However, when it comes to batch upscaling, I have been using the General Photo Fast Real ESRGAN as it upscales the images much faster. So if you have 20, 30, 50, 100 coloring pages, then it's going to do it so much faster than the rest. So once you choose an option in this instance, digital art, then it's going to give you the option to double upscale. In the settings, we chose the image scale as four times. So this will do it another four times. So this will make it a 16 times upscale. However, I wouldn't do this for your batch coloring pages as the files will be way too big and it would take forever. Then you can choose the output folder and then just click upscale. It can take a little while depending on the upscale type you choose, but once it's done, you're gonna have the option of this slider and you're gonna be able to see the difference very clearly. So if we slide to the left, we're gonna be able to see the upscaled image clearly. And if we slide to the right, then you're gonna see the old image. And if you click show hide image settings at the top, you're able to choose a zoom option so you can see the image a lot more clearly. And you can see a visible difference between the old blurry image and the new crispier image. So now I'm going to show you an example of the batch upscale. And what you can do is just make sure that you turn it on. Then you're going to need to place all your coloring page images into a folder and then you can select folder. Then step two, you have to select the upscaling type. And as I said before, I would choose the fast ESRGAN type as it's the quickest to get the job done. Then you can select the output folder and then finally choose upscale and it will go through each image in the folder until it's done. So I just quickly wanted to compare two of the upscale types that I have been using. So on the far left, we've got the fast ESRGAN type and then on the right hand side, then we've got the digital art type. And the more that we start to zoom in, you're not really gonna see a big difference between both of the images. That's why I was saying that it's fine to use either of these image types with coloring pages. 
However, one advantage with the digital art is that the files don't come out as large. But on the other hand, the fast ESR gun type will upscale your images much faster and save you a lot of time. However, with colored images or your cover pages, I would recommend that you test out the other in order to get the look that you're going for. So thanks for watching another video and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section.